Hello there, my name is Brett Klein, Solution Innovation Architect, and today we're going to talk about supply chain network optimization on Snowflake. One of the biggest challenges in managing supply chain decisions is the various number of tools required and the technical lift to manage them. Today, we'll show you how you can drive better supply chain decisions using linear programming using Snowpark, Geospatial Analytics, Streamlit, and Snowflake Cortex large language model functions, all entirely on Snowflake. In our theoretical scenario, we have 10 factories, 25 distributors, and 1,000 customers. Each factory has a per unit production cost and a capacity. Each distributor has a per unit throughput cost and capacity. Each customer has a set demand. All entities have geographic points associated with them. We're also assuming this is all one product, and this is for a fixed time frame, such as a monthly and a yearly plan. Our aim is to answer the questions how much product should I make at each factory, and where should I ship it in order to minimize my costs? To get started, let's deploy the supply chain network optimization solution into our Snowflake environment. To do so, navigate to the repository on Snowflake Labs, open up the appsetup.sql file, copy it, paste it into a new Snowsite worksheet, and run all. This will deploy everything we need to run the solution all under its own role. Now that we have deployed the solution, let's open up the Streamlit. To start, set your role to the Supply Chain Network Optimization role called SCNO Role from the bottom left window in Snowsite. Next, navigate to Projects and select Streamlit from the left side menu. Open the Supply Chain Network Optimization Streamlit. From the Start page, Let's navigate to data preparation. On this page, we can set up all of our model input data. This data consists of entities, such as factories, distributors, and customers, and their related attributes like capacities and costs, as well as relationships, such as mileages and freight between each factory and distributor and between distributors and customers. We are generating customer data using the Faker Python package in Snowpark and using Snowflake's geospatial functionality to calculate distances between every entity. Let's now navigate to model parameters using the sidebar button. On this page, we can see a data frame with all of our factory data, as well as tabs along the top. This allows us to explore our model scenario. We can see every entity and every relationship in detail with all related attribute information. Once familiar with our setup, let's proceed to model execution with a quick explainer on linear programming. In the Python behind the scenes, we use pulp to define a linear program. Linear programming uses a system of inequalities to define a feasible regional mathematical space and a solver that traverses that space by adjusting a number of decision variables, efficiently finding the most optimal set of decisions given constraints to meet a stated objective function. For our modeling, we have defined three problems subject to several constraints. The constraints include that factories must ship to distributors first, that all customer demand must be satisfied, that distributors need to have their inventory replenished, that factories and distributors must ship zero or more product, that factories and distributors cannot ship more than their capacity. Three problems are to minimize the distance, emulating a fairly naive present day, such as a situation where each factory operates as an independent business. To minimize freight, emulating an organization with freight analytics capability that does not get involved in production planning. And finally, minimize total fulfillment, emulating a fully realized network analytics capability with centralized planning. Let's go ahead and run the models and see what happens. First, we can see exactly how many decisions were made. Second, we can see a calculated total fulfillment cost. As we compare models, we can see this total fulfillment cost decreasing, reflecting the added sophistication applied to each model. Feel free to explore additional details within the expanders for each of the models. Now, let's move on to our model results. Here, we have a page that we can use to explore the results. We have a set of filters that allow us to zero in on specific sets of decisions, data frames with the individual decisions themselves, 
and some maps that show us the footprint of those decisions. As an example, let's select the most recent total fulfillment model, as that model gave us the best performance, and pick a factory and see where the model would like us to ship. Again, feel free to take a moment to explore. Let's move on to data enrichment using Snowflake Cortex. Finally, let's add some context to our supply chain and gather some additional information on our factories that might be helpful for planning. Select Cortex Enrichment from the sidebar to jump to the Cortex page. Once there, we see a number of attributes that could provide some additional context to our understanding of our factories. Let's select all of the check boxes and hit Enrich. Once complete, we'll scroll across the data frame and lo and behold, we have the information we wanted. We did not set up any pipelines, did not have to find any data sources. How do we do that? Well, we use Snowflake Cortex LLM functions using complete to prompt a Llama 2 7db chat model. Let's check out the queries themselves by clicking the expander. By packaging a programmatically derived prompt into Cortex's complete function, we are able to gather valuable information with little additional effort, no data engineering required. We have now demonstrated a full supply chain network optimization capability run entirely within Snowflake. I hope you found it helpful. And if you are interested in creating a custom supply chain network optimization solution, please reach out to your sales team. Have a great day. Thank you.